So, uh, I want to congratulate everybody who's been responsible for it and uh, sort of flesh out uh, what the bill does. Uh, and now we've got here, I'm going to call up Senator Earl first and then Senator Nancy. Governor, very briefly, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am delighted that you decided to host this publicly because this really is a major systemic reform in Pennsylvania that we all talk about championing and we all support, but oftentimes it's very difficult to accomplish under this capital zone. Uh, we are consolidating over 560 earned income tax collectors, wage tax collectors, and uh, bringing it down to about 68 or so around the Commonwealth, saving a lot of revenue making sure that the revenue is directed to the municipality and school district where it belongs and extending the seepage that's occurred, moving revenue over the years. Um, I, I won't go into detail about the substance of the bill. If you want to talk about that later, I'd be happy to. But I just want to point out um, specific efforts I am at by camera. And I would particularly like to thank uh, Secretary Wanty, who's been with us every step of the way. And as is true, oftentimes, both times, Really what gets things done around here is very confident staff, and if there's one guy that deserves a heck of a lot of credit for this bill, it's my staff from Jason Greenhouse, who probably has rewritten it about five or six times before. So with that, thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. Um, I too want to thank all those uh, organizations from the business community, uh, the local government organizations, uh, the staff of DCED, uh, and our staff, both in the House and the Senate that we all roll up our sleeves to make this happen. Uh, Senator Earl mentioned that this was a, a four-year ordeal. Um, you know, change in this state, you know, Governor, as, 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 we're, um, as we recognize is often difficult to achieve, especially when it comes to consolidating services relative to government. Uh, that's an extraordinary challenge in a cost. Without raising tax rates, this is going to generate more revenue for our school districts and municipalities. It's clearly a win for them. It's a win for the business community because the business community now will be able to, it simplifies and streamlines the wage tax collection process, reduces administrative costs and burdens for the business community, for the employees across the Commonwealth. So it's a win for the business community. Finally, the final piece of the trifecta, and I think the most important piece, are the taxpayers. Are the taxpayers. When workers go to work, when they sign up for employment, when they sign up on their W-2, they authorize the withholding of their federal income tax, their state income tax, and now they'll be able to authorize the withholding of their local wage tax. And this is uh, what a, a difficult thing this is for our businesses. Today, our Eden based Eden Park operates in 35 different counties and remits to 155 different EIT collectors on behalf of its 10,000 employees. Sheets, which operates in 52 Pennsylvania counties, has to deal with 270 separate tax collectors, all the different withholding, remittance, and distribution requirements, which is to say the least a payroll nightmare that certainly doesn't help when a company is looking to establish business in a certain state. And it's the economy league of Southwest Pennsylvania that analyzed this fragmented tax collection and determined that $237 million was going uncollected a year. So as uh, Representative Levansky correctly outlined, this is a winning situation for business, for local government, and I see local government. We have a public signing ceremony because it is important. $237 million is very important, um, and including the business climate is very important. And we also want to thank both the staff and all the people who work with us. So, in the sign of the world, uh,